so I want to do a little video about this because I've been seeing a few of these circulating on social media uh, especially Facebook and this is the most recent one I saw um, <clears throat> this little note says ladies anyone interested in a long distance friends gift exchange it doesn't matter where you live you're welcome to join I need at least six ladies of any age you only have to buy one gift valued at ten dollars or more and send it to one secret sister you will receive 36 6 to 36 in return how fun nothing makes you smile like some happy mail right let me know if you're interested and I will send you the information please don't ask to participate if you're not willing to spend the ten dollars so these are what are called chain mails or chain gift mails and I remember back to a time when I was in grade school my older brother came home with a letter from some friend or acquaintance at school and it said you know that that you give like five dollars and you end up sending it to the people at the the top of the list you send it to the person at the top of the list and you put your name at the bottom of the list and then you you send that top of the, the person at the top of the list five dollars so here like say this is Joe Jim Susie and then Logan down here, you know, you add, he adds his name or whatever. And so what you're supposed to do is you send money to the person at the top of the chain. You send $5. And then you send this, say Logan sends this letter out. He sends it out to um, like five other people or say ten other people. So, you know, eventually his name will get to the top of the list and everybody down here will be sending five dollars so they always said like you got to keep this chain ladder going because if you don't if you break the chain and then what happens is then somebody gets messed up along the way so they always like sometimes you'll even see like curses or threats if you break this chain you know some curse will happen to you you know but <clears throat> I'll talk a little later about why uh, these things are not only deceptive but they're actually illegal if you use the US Postal Service but I, I just want to illustrate using like a little diagram why mathematically this is impossible so the, in this letter I saw that there were like 25 25 people who had responded to this initial ladies gift exchange thing so I represented that by a circle of 25 people inside this circle here so <clears throat> what's supposed to happen is that <clears throat> okay l let's just pretend for instance that it was just this circle if there's just a circle of 25 people and each one only gives one gift that means 25 people and 25 gifts so somebody explain to me how anybody can get any more than one gift you can't there's only 25 gifts so that even even if it was just within this what in math is called a closed system then each person could only get 25 gifts so let's say that <clears throat> you expand the circle out and that it's a it, it's a chain that keeps on going a chain gift gift exchange so say each person sends this on to like 36 other people I think you know we're just saying doing this for the sake of argument but you know even if it was only six people but I'm, I'm just gonna give some liberal whatever to allow this so say there's 36 people that they each that it each goes out to so you not only have the 25 initial people and the gifts that they give now you have 36 gifts for each each person here in the center okay so <clears throat> that's a lot of gifts and that's maybe how somebody would explain it to you You get all these other gifts out here and and that's how some people are gonna get like six to thirty six gifts is because you've got so many gifts out here all coming in okay well <clears throat> what happens is as this chain goes down further down the line eventually you get to a threshold of a larger closed system and let's say for the sake of argument that's like one million people 
So maybe there's one million people inside this network of people who are all part of this gift exchange. But you're going to run into a threshold somewhere because there's only so many English speaking people in the world. And <clears throat> either you're going to have to start translating the thing into other languages and people in Africa can start being part of it unless they live in Nigeria where they speak English. But, <clears throat> but basically you're going to run into a problem where there's a threshold of a closed system. That means only a certain amount of people. So once you've reached that threshold, say there was a million people, okay, within inside of your closed system. How many gifts does each person give? Each person gives one gift. That's one gift per person. That's one times one million. That's one million gift. One million, sorry, not dollars. One million gifts. Okay, so if each person only gives one gift and you have one million gifts, then how, how does anybody get more than one gift? Well, what un, un, ends up happening is that, that all these gifts are leveraged to this initial circle of people. So what you have is all these people are, and somebody used the word blessed, I wouldn't call it a blessing, I would call it a form of deception. And, you know, I, I know that there are people out there that are thinking, oh, he's just a fuddy-duddy. We're trying to do a gift exchange, and who does he think he is? We're just trying to do something fun, and you're just trying to be a killjoy. I'm not. I, you know, I, I really am about giving to people. I really uh, am about giving uh, selflessly and self-sacrificially to other people. But what I'm trying to avoid is that this inner initial group of people are going to get totally blessed because they'll each get like six to 36 gifts because that's what this letter claimed. And then all these people at the end of the chain where this threshold stops, they're going to get nothing. So they'll, they'll be like, say this, the circle was like a million people inside this whole circle. There'll be thousands of people out here who'll be sending all their gifts in to all these other people so that they all get six to 36 gifts and and then all of a sudden they're at the end of the chain and they spent you know this gift exchange said ten dollar a ten dollar gift well if you know anything about mailing things through the mail unless you're ma mailing like earrings or a gift card or something like that uh you're gonna spend like anywhere from five to ten dollars potentially on on sending it in the mail so you're gonna spend almost potentially like fifteen to twenty dollars on sending a gift out so each one of these person, people on the end are going to be spending like $20 and then everyone in here gets blessed. They get more than what they put out. They only put in one gift. All these people on the fringe where the chain stopped, they're going to get screwed. So I'm just, I, you know, I'm, I, I do what you want. But my encouragement it is, is that you take a group of, just take your group of 25 friends and do a gift exchange among each other. And that way you have one gift, you have 25 people, you have 25 gifts, everyone gets a gift. But don't, don't be stupid, okay? If you want to participate in this and you care, don't care about getting anything and you just want to give out, you know, that's fine. You know, just, but don't say, I didn't warn you. Don't say, you know, you can call me whatever you want. You can call me a fuddy-duddy or, you know, somebody who just wants to kill a, a cool gift exchange or something like that. But <clears throat> if if you end up sending out a $20 gift with the with the amount and postage that you sent and you get nothing, just don't say I I didn't warn you. Okay? So, my advice to you again is like do, you want to do a gift exchange? Even people on Facebook that live far away, fine. Do it among people you know, a group of people, and give one gift to everyone, or have somebody arrange like names in a hat so that everyone be sure is be sure to get a, get a gift. Otherwise, you might be one of these people here in the center that gets totally blessed, but you've just been part of a scheme that screws a whole bunch of other people that deceives, you've been part of a huge network of deception that deceives a whole bunch of people here at the bottom that you may not even know 
and you may not even see the consequences of that and 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 really it'd be like oh well they gave out a gift but they didn't get anything in return yeah but there was potentially thousands of people if it was like a big network of people that got screwed so if that doesn't bother your conscience and you want to go ahead and do that you know that's up to you it's between you and god but uh, for the rest of us who want to live honestly you know i would just say just you want to give out a gift and not expect anything in return just go pray about it find somebody in need find a widow or an orphan you know some homeless person begging for money and just give them some money and not think about you know what you're getting back in return otherwise you know do a standard gift exchange otherwise uh, you're risking being at the fringe here of somebody that <clears throat> doesn't get anything.